box plots with similar variability. We're going to compare the shapes, centers, and spreads of box plots. We can compare two box plots numerically according to their centers, or medians, and their spreads, or variability. Range and interquartile range, the IQR, are both measures of spread, and box plots with similar variability should have similar boxes and whiskers. So here we have our number line in increments of 10. We have two box plots, and we can compare their shapes, their centers, this one's center is here, this one's center is here, and we can compare their spreads, the length of their boxes. The range is the difference between the greatest and least values in a data set. So the least value is 10, the greatest value is 30, that's the end of the whiskers, and that's the range for our box plot. These box plots show the distribution of time spent shopping by two different groups in minutes. We have group A and group B. We can see the minutes are in increments of 10, and we can compare the shape. In both, the right whisker is shorter than the left whisker, and in both, the position and length appear to be similar. They're both in between roughly 30 and 60, and they're almost the same length. We can compare their centers in group A's median, right here, that's at 47.5, and it's greater than group B's median of 40. This means that the median shopping time for group A is 7.5 minutes more. We can, we can compare their spreads. Each box shows its interquartile range. The interquartile range is the length of the box. The range goes from the least to greatest between the values in the data set. For group A, we do Q3 minus Q1, as we did in video 11.2a, and we get 25 minutes for the interquartile range. For group B, we do 58 minus this 32, and we get 26 minutes. And the whiskers have similar lengths, with group A's whiskers slightly shorter than group B's. Using the same box plots, group A has greater variability in the bottom 50% of shopping times because it has, it has a greater distance from the median, right here, to the minimum value. And group B has the top 50% of shopping times because its box plot has a greater distance from the median to the maximum value. It also has a shopper who shopped the longest because it has the greater maximum. That's for group B. Now take a look at these two box plots. These box plots show the distribution of weights in pounds of two different groups of football players in the United States. We can compare the shapes, centers, and spreads of these box plots. So, look at the whiskers. This one is down around a little over 170. That's the minimum value for group A. And this one is a little, this whisker is a little over 330 for group A. And look at where the median is. It's around 260. For group B, it's in between 190 and 200 for the minimum value. For the maximum value, it's a little over 320, and its median is a little over 270. For shapes, they both have similar shapes, but group B has a shorter box and whiskers. See? This is shorter than that one. For the centers, group B's median is greater than group A. This median is greater because it's more on this side. For the spread, Group B's shorter box means the middle 50% of its data are closer together than the middle 50% of Group A's. 
So we can use the interquartile range to compare the spread of the data in box plots numerically by finding the difference between the upper and lower quartiles of one box plot compared to the upper and lower quartiles of the other box plot. And the wider the box, the greater the spread of the data around the median. And we can compare the measures of variability in the data by the sizes of the box and the lengths of the corresponding whiskers. So as we said in the previous video, box plots model five key values. The least value, the greatest value, the lower quartile, the upper quartile, and the median. And these can be used to visually and numerically compare data sets. And box plots with similar key values indicate similar variability in the data sets. And box plots with very different key values indicate more variability in the data sets. So I hope you saw the previous video. If you didn't, it should be linked in the description or in up above. So up next, we're going to talk about box plots with different variability for the final part of this lesson, video 11.2c. I hope you're doing well. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.